Hi everyone, Helen here. Hope you guys are cool. Today we're going to be looking at alternate picking. Now this is a technique that can help improve your speed and accuracy on the guitar. It just involves um, the movement of your picking hand going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down consistently. Something like this. Now today we're going to be doing um, about three exercises that I think can help improve your alternate picking, especially if you're just starting out with solos, riffs, leaks and all of that. So let's dig in. So guys, I tried to zoom up close so you guys can see what I'm doing very well. Um, you can stand if you want to and you can also sit if you want to, it doesn't really matter. And you can also use an acoustic, you can use an electric, it doesn't matter either. Um, so, um, the first thing we're going to do, we're not going to use this, the uh, fretboard right now. We just want to concentrate on um, the picking finger first. The picking hand, I mean, first. <laughs> and how to pick. When I start, I, um, I just like to at least just relax my arm. Don't be too tense, like... It's just easy just relax and I also like to place like two of my fingers on the bridge of the guitar to just give it an extra support like this you know you can do it sitting too and it's still going to be the same thing and um, since we're not doing this right now we'll still come to the fretboard we just want to concentrate on um, the hand right now so what we're going to do is down up, down up, down up, e string first down up as slow as possible down up down up down up you can do this like eight times and then go up to the b string down up down up down up down up go up again down up to the g string down up you've done this you can do it for a couple of times just get the hang of it just get into the flow you can increase your speed if you want to don't bother about the fretboard just down up 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 of the guitar and just in a relaxed position my wrist is doing the work you don't want to put so much um, strain on the arm so you don't get tired easily so if you if you when you use your wrist you you, you can play for a longer time because you don't you're not doing this <laughs> anyway so um, the second thing I want us to do now is go to the fretboard and then we're going to do a couple of exercises with this. Um, so we are going to be starting with the high is e um, low e string twice down up down and then high e string um, um I mean the B string <laughs> the B string twice one two down up down up and then the high e string while doing that, what we are doing is placing the index finger on the first, first fret B string, okay, like this, down the middle finger, second fret. So we have down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So 
the, the second, the, the next one we are doing is the first um, index finger on the first, um, first string, first fret, and then um, pinky fourth string, fourth 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 fret, fourth fret, um, first string. So we have. So make sure you 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 synchronize with your your peak, okay? So you do down. Up, so you have and when you're done with this you can go um, chromatically up so what we're doing like go uh, semitone higher um, something like this as slow as you can you don't have to rush anything you're not in a hurry um so okay as slow as you can next still the same sequence okay so when you're done with this and you go down you can also um descend Increase the speed of your tempo and you can just play with it as much as you can. Okay? So um, when you do that on this string, you can go up, do the other strings too, even including the fifth and sixth string. Make sure you walk that peak down. So the next exercise we're going to be doing is, um, if you know your major scale, your major scale is a um, lovely way to also practice alternate speaking. You know, we're just let's just say um, G major scale, for example, we'll have... There's another sequence that you can also do to add some intro, um, spice to it. Instead of you can just do something like and this is basically just um you know, um, th th middle finger on the third fret, sixth string, um, index finger on the second fret, fifth string, um, ring finger on the um, fifth fret, fifth string. Okay, so what we have is. the same sequence again down down a string just keep going down the same thing okay so let's start it again down up I'm, I'm concentrating on this finger the most make sure that you follow that down up down up down up okay so So you still 
still the same way you came um, down. It's still the same way you ascended, you descend, okay? So we have them. Um... Okay? So that's this, um, the other exercise that you can do. Um, and another thing is um, you can just do some songs like play melodies of stuff just you know just you know stuff that you can do like that you can even you know Just play a song or something and just practice the technique with that, you know, by just playing a song or a simple melody or... You know, just, you know, just play with it. It doesn't have to be exercises all the time. And um, don't, you can even do the normal spider, um, good old spider exercise, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You go, 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 chromatically, go, 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 until, you know, you're, you've reached the end of the fretboard. You understand what I mean? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. As you can see, I'm going down, up, down, up. basically um that's basically it and remember not to kill yourself with this thing um <laughs> as you play if you play constantly you it will definitely come naturally you know if you want to practice it your exercises you can do it while watching tv you can do it while talking to someone you don't even have to be plugged in you know to do these exercises um 10 minutes 15 minutes a day just you know just warm up, warm up, warm up, warm up, and you know it will it will come naturally with time. The more you practice, the more better you get at these things. Okay, so um, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.